Hello there, and welcome to Ms. Red Nebula's Planko Tips. First off, I got a new microphone, so you're hoping I sound a little less like a robot now. And, well, guess what? Shortly after I made my tutorial on the RideCam Time Machine, they decided to upgrade it. Everything I described in the first video still works just fine, so I won't go over all of that again. You can see that tutorial by clicking the link in the top right corner of the screen. This video will cover the changes and how to use them. With the July 2018 update, a feature called Camera Effects was added to Planet Coaster. Access it by clicking the Camera Effects button in the lower right-hand side of the screen. Here, you can change the time of day as well as add effects such as a vignette, film grain, or a number of color-changing filters. Clicking the Camera Effects Always On checkbox at the bottom will cause the effect to stay on even when you close this menu. This is great if you want to take some unique videos of your park, or if you just want a different look to the game for a while. Incidentally, these effects are saved as part of your park and will remain if you exit the game and then reopen it. The new effects are fun, but their real power is that they've also been added to the Ride Cam Time Machine. This means that at any time during your ride, you can change its look dramatically. Let's take a look. The first thing you'll notice on the ride cam screen is a check mark that says Preview Visual Effects. This shows you exactly what the effect will look like when triggered from your ride, including the fade time. Clicking the Preview button won't do anything at first, because we don't have any effect set up. Each effect is enabled by a checkbox, and you can add as many as one of each to your ride cam. The visual time does exactly what it's done all along. For details, see the first tutorial I did on the ride cam. Film grain adds a fuzzy, old-time film look, and the slider allows you to control the intensity of this effect. The vignette option adds a dark frame around the outside of the view. The strength slider controls how visible the frame is, while the opacity slider brightens and darkens the entire scene. Color grading allows you to add a color-changing filter, and again, there's a slider to adjust the intensity of the effect. At the time of this recording, there are over 30 different effects, ranging from mood-setting effects like grayscale and sepia tone, to crazy effects like stark black and white, predator vision, night vision, and even a complete blackout and whiteout. And finally, the fade time is there at the bottom, and still works exactly like it always has. I set up a couple of examples. They'll look familiar if you already watched my rundown of the new DLC and free 1.7 update. With this first one, I wanted to point something out. Using a fade to transition between the different camera effects is not seamless. They will always return to a neutral state before fading in. To transition seamlessly from one effect to another, you must set the fade time to zero. It's kind of a shame, but the new effects are very nice. Just know you won't be able to, say, fade from a blackout to a sepia tone without a moment of normal color transition in between. The second example was just for fun, to show one idea of what can be done with them. I'm sure the Planet Coaster community will come up with all sorts of fun ways to use them. And that's it. Feel free to like or comment and leave any suggestions for quick tips or tutorials you'd like to see me do. And if you want random updates from my Planet Coaster exploits, you can subscribe too. That's all for now. Bye!